Now here's an interesting little beauty, which regular viewers will have seen a few months ago, although not exactly in this form. For those that know their Lepidoptera, they will almost instantly have recognised this little chap, or chapess, as being the larva of the purple emperor butterfly, one of our most majestic and sought after species. It's probably the most twitched butterfly in the UK, and people regularly go to great lengths to see it. Luckily, there's a colony on the doorstep for most of us in Nottinghamshire, and that colony is in Sherwood Forest. Now, the Sherwood Forest colony was reported to me earlier this year, and I was given the, the rough location where some larva was seen last year so presumably it's been in Sherwood Forest for at least two years and they've actually bred presumably for the second year at least I was informed that eggs had been seen this year so earlier on I went to look for them and here's a clip of how I got on in search of something special today And there's a clue, if I say it's royalty, some of you may have an idea where I am. And what I'm looking for. It's a species that's uh, been subject of a few releases, although by all accounts it is increasing and spreading its range in the UK, so people are saying. But it's almost certainly been the subject of releases in Nottinghamshire, or as far as Nottinghamshire sightings and records are concerned. And species is the Purple Emperor generally a large amount of secrecy regarding the species but I'm not walking to any of those sites I'm walking to one in Sherwood Forest now I was told about this oh, a month or so ago it seems that numerous people have been told about it. And eggs have been reported and photographed. And that's what we're after. They're not looking for an eagle in the haystack. This. leaf that's in the centre look and if you look at sort of the top right hand corner there is the purple emperor egg must be fairly freshly laid because it's not turned purple yet whether yeah you can see right on that top right hand corner of that leaf lot. So here we are, our second purple emperor egg.
And you can see how it's two-toned look. Bottom half is like a purple colour. So we'll see if there's any more on here. Never thought I'd see the day when they were looking for purple emperor eggs in Nottinghamshire. So after acquiring two eggs, I brought them home to rear, safer from predators at home, and safer from being lost through careless habitat management. Both eggs hatched successfully. One larva, this one, did really well and has developed nicely and is now in its third instar, which means it's changed its skin twice. The other larva, Hatched fine from the egg, ate the eggshell as this species typically does, but the larva never settled down and never fed and ultimately died. Now the pattern of feeding of these is unbelievable. It will always leave its resting point where it is sat now on the end of the leaf, travel down the leaf, up the stem to these two other leaves. And over time, it would eat only small amounts, even for a small caterpillar, the, the amount of eating was very little. But over the course of several weeks, it has eaten two leaves completely. Most of the leaf that it is now resting on. And it's also had to go at this leaf here a little bit. And in the last few weeks, from what I can see, it's barely eaten at all. It now measures little more than a centimetre long and it's in its third instar and what I'll do now I'll drop you some photos in so you can see the current development from egg through to third instar larva So this larva looks as though it's going to be okay. It'll overwinter probably on this leaf to which it will attach to the stem by a pad of silk so the leaf doesn't fall off. More typically, purple emperor larva will overwinter in the forks of branches or in crevices in the bark and they will over there, overwinter there quite openly to all elements of the weather and that's something that you have to replicate in captivity there's no mollycoddling of these and so this larva will stay outside and hopefully will be fine throughout the winter months <laughs> 